Uh, do you want to talk about the Canadian uh, new food guide that came out? Oh, so there's a, there's a new, well, I guess I don't know how new it is, but it's It's a, new, in the last week. I think oh, they released okay. it on the 22nd, so, I think. It, right, so in America we have the food pyramid. Uh, and it's Canada, a plate now. Oh, is it a plate? Yeah. Okay, so Canada has their version of it, and they just recently came up with an updated version. So the l last time they updated it was in 2007, and they just released their new one. Um, it's definitely um, better. It's absolutely a move in the right direction. It's interesting when you read about it and what they um, intended to do. What Laura said, what did I miss? Why is the hot miss? And put it <laughs> because we just put bread in the oven. Right. That's what you missed. Yes. Um, <laughs> but so Canada came out with their new food guide. And they, it's interesting when you read about it, one of the things that they say is, you know, enjoy feeding yourself. Take time to do it. Cook at home. And, you know, we say that all the time. Stop feeling like taking care of yourself and feeding yourself is an inconvenience mm -hmm. that should be outsourced to someone else. Right. Like that's not, that's not the way um, it should be. And so that, that was interesting. And if you look at it, if you just Google um, Canada's new food guide, it'll your pictures will come up on it. And they have the plate broken into three sections. On one side, they have fruits and vegetables. And then they have a protein section. And then they have a grain section. Now, what's interesting to me about that is that two of the sections, fruits and vegetables and grains, are food groups. Mm -hmm. The protein section is a nutrient group. <laughs> and I'm unclear. I mean, I need to, like, call them and ask, why did you feel the need to separate... Um, protein out, that nutrient out. Oh, it's not hot yet. No, it is. You heat the Dutch oven before you put the bread right. in it. They, oh, she told her, Allison told her, they heated the Dutch oven. That's what <laughs> we did. Um, so anyway, back to the food pyramid. Our live is all goofy today. Um, so they broke out protein, which I thought was odd because they don't have carbs and fat listed, which is good because that's not helpful, but they have protein listed. And in the protein group, they do still show um, meat and dairy, a little bit of dairy, like some yogurt, I think, um, an egg and some salmon. So that, not ideal, but certainly better because they also show beans and tofu and plant-based foods mm -hmm. in the protein group. So that's really great. But what was odd to me is in the fruits and vegetables group, they have peas. And Which, peas are a fruit, a vegetable, right. that's true, but they're a protein vegetable. Yeah. More protein than probably anything else there is. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's pretty interesting. I don't even know what a Dutch oven is besides, oh geez, don't, I'm not even reading that out loud. <laughs> um, um, so they, they broke it out interestingly, but they did, they do have, you know, basically eat way more fruits and vegetables. The other thing is that they don't have milk on there anymore. Mm -hmm. Now they say, make your choice of, to drink water, mm -hmm. which I think is a great recommendation. Absolutely awesome, yes. So do you have thoughts about that? Um, I'm still not happy with their um, animal product uh, consumption. I think that, and the problem I have with it is they don't make a distinction. They just say protein and they cook it all. They, they clump all these things together. Mm -hmm. And I don't think they're equal. I don't think they all have the same value. And I think yeah. some have concerns and some don't. Then you should you know, make people aware of that. But I, I, I guess I figure that, you know, they won't. It's, it's definitely better. And yes, as doctors always say, you can't tell them to do this diet because they won't do it. They won't do it. And so I think that's part of it. But it's definitely a step in the right direction. And again, we're seeing more and more of this type of thing happening. Mm -hmm. You're starting to see more and more restaurants accommodating it. You're starting to see, you know, um, countries you know, accommodating yeah. it. I mean, the same similar thing is going on, I think, in Australia, where they're really starting to talk about eating more plants and getting away from animal products. So yeah. it's a good sign. It, it's 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 people finally understanding that you can't argue with the science. Well, and I do think it's unfortunate that they felt the need to break out protein as a nutrient because one thing that we harp on, and I talk about it in our book, we talk about it in our lives, is you don't have to worry about getting enough protein. There's plenty of protein in food. If you're eating enough foods, you're going to get enough uh, protein. It's not something you have to like consciously be aware of. So that's disappointing. But what they did, they, there's no processed food in there. They don't talk about that at all. And I did see an article where the processed food companies came out complaining about it. Mm -hmm. And they were basically saying that um, Canada discounted the convenience of processed right. food. And th that's exactly the point I think that they're trying to make is stop trying to think about food as a convenience. Mm -hmm. Food is not, a, it's like... Air is not a convenience. Right. Air is something you need. You, it's relevant. Make sure you breathe. Like none of us think about that. But so why do we think about food, which is equal, in this in that way? And it's necessity. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I don't know. It's um, it's bizarre to me, but it's also interesting that um, as I, I showed you that in one article or I talked about it, where the meat industry is all of a sudden you know 
concerned. Put, yeah, putting up their bunkers and saying, how do we deal with this? Because as we talked about yesterday, the World Health Organization has come out and basically said meat is a carcinogenic and processed meat is definitely a, you know. Although I, one of you did send me an article where apparently someone on Forbes wrote an opinion piece that said, yeah, it's a carcinogenic, but you don't really have to worry about it. And right. I was like, oh, jeez. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, you know, I guess it's and that's a, a choice. That's the same it, line I'm sure tobacco companies use. You yeah, know, we're carcinogenic. Yeah. You don't have to worry about it, though. Yeah. Because we're not worried about it. We don't care if you get sick. <laughs> Stop. But um, definitely, I would recommend if you haven't seen Canada's new food guide, go take a look at it. Um, let us know what you think of it. Do you think that it's a move in the right direction? Do you think that it's useful for companies to come out of oh, companies, countries to come out mm -hmm. with? these food guys, do you think people need them? Do you think people pay attention to them? Or do you think that people just are gonna eat whatever they're gonna eat and what the country's food guides say are irrelevant? Right. I mean, that's possible too. But um, I think it's great. I wish that they had pointed out that there's protein in all the, all the things that they have on their plate, but uh, they didn't do that. But maybe maybe the next one. Of course, if it was 2007, 12 years, like in 12 years, it's yeah. gonna, a lot's gonna change. Well, maybe it'll so. speed up. That's, yeah. that's what I believe. I believe things are starting to speed up. That people are going to start yeah. to get it? Yeah. So take a look at that. Let us know what your opinion is. Do you have anything you want to add about the food guide or the bread or your ridiculous... Uh, if you haven't watched Russ's bread, uh, bread video from yesterday, go watch at least the first part of it. It's actually kind of funny. Yeah. I, I really wanted to delete it because I feel like I look ridiculous, but... Uh, yeah, for the half a second you're on there. <laughs> I'm the one to sit and go... <laughs> you know, when I thought I was lying, I went, oh. <laughs> So that was pretty funny. Not but, to mention an, an expletive that I used that I probably shouldn't have. What are you going to do? Well, you know, when you're frustrated, that happens. Yeah, I guess. But, um, yeah, it was funny. If yeah. you haven't seen it, go go watch his uh, his bread. And he has all the, like, the what goes in it, too. So right. And like I said, you can get the recipe on our website, rnrjourney.com. Under Robin's Recipes, it's the free one that's available there. And um, you can become a member and get access to all of our recipes as well as all of the content that we share mm -hmm. and the community page where we interact with people and you know answer questions and all that. And you can also sign up for the newsletter. Um, the newsletter went out yesterday. That was another recipe. That was a recipe for um, a cheese-like sauce that I make. So you can do that. Hey, Allison, thank you. Oh, you're welcome. She says it was a great video. Thank See, you. you did a good job. Thank you very um, much, Allison. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, make sure you like and share if you're getting value out of these. Please let other people know. Um, we don't make fools of ourselves every day for our health. We do it for your health. So please let people know about that. Exactly. If you're interested in our webinar, you can find it at howtofeedahuman.com. Right. And if you like our show and you like the information we are sharing and you have not yet given us a review on Facebook, please go do so and give us five glorious stars. <laughs> yeah, that would be, that we would would be really awesome. Appreciate We'd appreciate that. that. Some of you have and we appreciate the great things that you've written. Exactly. Um, it's very helpful for us to know, you know what you appreciate and what's good for you and, and you know, how we're helping so we can continue to do that exactly is that all we have i think that's it for today all right let's okay i don't know what we're doing because we're not, we're not eating. eating it's, it's fascinating, fascinating. Even we didn't even the, mention that the house we? smells like bread now oh, it's bread all over the place it's going crazy all right so with that we'll say eat real food mostly, mostly plants. plants have a great day guys have a good one we'll see you tomorrow